Hey everyone, I'm Scott from Raleigh, North Carolina. You may recognize me from a little over a month ago. I submitted a video for the Republican Voters Against Trump site and uh, was also featured in the Republican Veterans Against Trump national ad from a few weeks ago. Uh, but uh, I wanted to submit one more video because I felt inspired by the recent NBA protests and what it accomplished today with the announcement of all NBA stadiums using or being used as polling stations across uh, you know, all over the country. So I just thought it was such a cool thing and such, a, you know, our government actually trying to suppress voters that the NBA is you know, doing everything they can to make it voting as easy as possible, especially during this pandemic. You know, the, those NBA sites will be used for, for Republicans, Democrats, third party. But, you know, the goal is to, you know, respect our democratic norms, our institutions, and making sure everyone has the easiest access to vote as possible. So I just thought it was such a cool and inspiring thing, and just such opposite from the current administration. Uh, you know, the thing I loved about the Obama-McCain campaign is you could just tell that although they both wanted to win, they wanted to win the right way. It was more important for America that, you know, follow our democracy and the values and the Constitution and to make it better for each generation and not win by any means necessary to cheat, lie, and steal just to retain power for four years. That's, that's not what's important. It's way more important for our democracy to win the right way to make sure everyone has that, you know, access to vote and everyone's vote matters. And in the end, we're all Americans, so I just felt inspired by that. And uh, since we're on the topic of sports, just want to kind of give my two cents into the, you know, um, kneeling for the national anthem on topic. And, you know, like I said, I'm, I was an Army veteran, so national anthem is really important to me. I've always stood for it, hand over my heart, you know, times in uniform, you know, bringing tears to my eyes. But always been for peaceful protests you know we see nonviolent protests going on that should be condemned but uh you know the kneeling for the national anthem has always been a peaceful protest that's something i've always supported and i'm so lucky as a you know white straight man in america that i've never really felt the need to go out and uh and protest but i haven't the same life experience as someone as you know african-american or a person of color and why they might feel compelled to to kneel for the anthem so i've always you know joined the military to defend everyone's you know the constitutional rights the first amendment right to peaceful protest we don't shouldn't feel obligated to stand for the national anthem if we feel that this country's failing us so i think uh as people that do stand for the national anthem and are proud to we should look at our fellow american citizens that may be hurting and feeling the need to kneel and listen to why and how we can help. We should all want everyone to, to stand proud. And I believe the people that do kneel, they want to stand proud, but they want to, you know, be heard and, and have justice. And I've always felt, you know, there's people that protest, whether it be Black Lives Matter, people of color, you know, the women's rights, the LGBTQ, you know, they're punching up. They just want to have the same rights as everyday white male, you know, Americans. And, you know, the, the fringe parts of the Trump movement were kind of the white grievance. These people are punching down and don't want them to have the same rights. Well, that's just totally wrong. I have two kids. I want them to not live in Trump's America. I want them to know that diversity is our strength. And that's what makes us, you know, that's what makes America the greatest country on earth is when we you know, reach out to each other, all people of different faiths different sexual orientations, all different races, and come together. And I think that's what the Joe Biden, Kamala Harris uh, administration would bring back to this country. You know, policies aside, everyone would should feel welcome in that administration. And that's why, you know, I'm not just excited to, you know, vote against Donald Trump. I'm excited to vote for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. So... Um, just wanted to kind of say, as we come up to these last 60 days, you know, everyone in this Never Trump movement, keep fighting, keep going, you know, try to get as many people to vote as possible because it's worth fighting for for America. And, uh, you know, we need every vote and every voice out there. So you know, thanks, everyone, for listening. God bless America. Black Lives Matter.